All right, guys, so this is gonna be a really quick and easy tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own HDRIs. This HDRI you're seeing right now, I created no third parties here, just my own environment, made an HDRI and applied it to this scene and now the light is affecting it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. But before we do this, I wanna address a question I get a ton is, how do you do character modeling, how to do rigging, all that stuff. I don't do that personally, but my good friend Southern Shoddy just released a course called Stylized Characters in Blender 3D with Remington Markham. So if you want to get into the modeling, rigging, and texturing, and lighting, he has an incredible course for you guys to check out. He's not paying me to talk about this. I genuinely believe in what he does and what he teaches. So if you guys want to learn that stuff, go check it out, and let's get on with the tutorial. All right, so to make this work, you're going to want to make an environment literally anything. At a very basic level, you can take like two spheres, like one sphere here, one sphere here, make this one an emissive material, say a blue and a green, render that out, and you have lighting. It's all about lighting data. As long as your scene has lighting data, it's not a completely black image, your HDR will work. Um, so I made a pretty intricate scene here. It's from the um, bars tutorial, the tubes lines tutorial, and I'm just going to set up my camera. So my camera is right here in this range right here. So if I hit render, this is what I'm seeing. Now I like the lighting here, I like how it looks, but I need to change my camera. So click on the camera here, click on the little green icon here, go from perspective to panoramic. So now you have a much wider angle. A lot of people, you're gonna start out with something that looks like this. Make sure you hit this lens here and change it to something like this. Now, now leave it at default settings. You can mess with these and learn about them if you want, but default settings look much better in my opinion. So you take this here, and then you can check your um, resolution. No, mine's 1920 by 1080. I would recommend making them 4K, which you would just take this little percentage, 200 and now it's a 4K image. But just for the demo, I'm going to keep it at a 1920 by 1080. Now the last thing that's very important for you to do to make this an actual HDR is go to the little printer icon, switch it from PNG to Radiance HDR. That's gonna thing that's gonna be making it an actual HDR image and then render, render image. Now, of course, for your samples, it all depends on the scene, how you're gonna do your samples. This one's very noisy, so I made it 500 samples. Now, once that's finished rendering out, I'm gonna put it in a new scene. You guys are gonna see how it looks. All right, so now I have a simple scene here, just got a uh, object and a plane. Got a little earth icon here, click this, environment texture, and import your environment texture. In this case, it's right here. Now we have our HDRI affecting our scene, and you can see how it works with different materials. Say we have a metallic material, and same material here on the ground. So it works, it's a really cool HDRI. Now the thing, if you do want to take this HDRI out of your scene, you can click on the uh, world icon, go to ray visibility and click camera. And so now you just have the scene and you've made your own HDR. So it's as simple as that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next tutorial.